If you're ready to experience more peace and joy in your life, if you want to feel more comfortable in your own skin, and if you're ready to discover and expand on your energetic gifts and personal power, you're in the right place. So here's your host, Kelly Sparta. Hello and welcome to Spirit Guides Thursday Thoughts. This is the place where you will get to hear snippets of conversations I've had with people over the years and get a variety of thoughts for you to consider for today. Enjoy! The the work that we do to prep ourselves to operate in the spiritual world empowers us in the physical world as well. And when you take those two pieces and you put them together, magic happens. Oftentimes, the people who come to these types of classes and do these types of programs are people who have had challenged childhood environments. But you also are probably an empath. Mm -hmm. And that means that that you feel what other people feel. You have a hard time getting out of relationships. You're codependent, uh, both emotionally and energetically. And you you may be accused of being intimidating when you're not doing anything. You know every person who comes and goes from a room, and you know exactly how they're feeling at all times. You almost never know how you're feeling in the co- <laughs> in the presence of someone else's strong emotions. And large groups make you crazy. So if that sounds like you, then you are an empath. I was actually at a business networking event this week, and one of the guys there took me aside and we were talking and he said, you know, he said, I'm, I'm really interested in this shamanic stuff, but I don't, I don't think I'm very good at it. And I said, well, why do you, what makes you say that? He said, well, I went to this shamanic weekend, this educational weekend, shamanic weekend, where we're supposed to learn about shamanic stuff. And he said, I just, I couldn't, I couldn't drop in very deep. He said, I've, I just, I don't think I'm very good at it. I said, actually, the fact that you didn't drop in very deep says less about your ability and more about the safety of the container. Hmm. And he was like, what do you mean by that, right? And I said, well, look, if you have a good sense of self-preservation, and looking at him, I could tell he did, you will not, in an unsafe container, allow yourself to dive very deep, because your part of you is going to stay present in the container to make sure you're safe. Mm. Okay? If the container is not solid, you're not going very far. That's good self-preservation, Right? It's when you have a nice, solid container that you can dive really deep. Can you repair Absolutely. those sort of things? Because Absolutely. we know if, we, if we're talking about the emotional space, right? Mm-hmm. Emotional cracks and fractures and shattering, those are difficult to repair. Is the same true in an energetic perspective? So the emotional cracks are a direct reflection into the energetic. And so, yes, you can absolutely repair the energetic, but the you have to do the emotional work in order to do that. And and you saying they're difficult to repair, well, sort of. <laughs> sort of. It's so I, I want to be clear when I when I say this. As a shaman, I don't do therapy. Right. Okay. So I don't work with active trauma and I don't do the things that therapists do. Basically, what I, a friend of mine likes to say that we, we work with the wounded well, right? <laughs> so when I talk about doing this work, I'm talking about dealing with stories around I'm not good enough. I'm not, you know, I can't be trusted with my power. I'm, I'm, you know, nobody cares about me. I'm not important. I'm not welcome. I'm not wanted. These, these are the emotional stories that we address, right? And, the coping mechanisms and the control behaviors that come out of those. So those can be addressed in a shamanic path, and those are regularly addressed in a shamanic path. And yes, they can be repaired, and they can be repaired very solidly. And once you walk through that, you have a super solid container because you have been places that you needed to go in order to heal those cracks. We start off our lives as children as our authentic selves. 
And then things happen. And we develop coping mechanisms to deal with those things. And we layer different things on top of ourselves. And those things create belief structures that are not our authentic selves. And we we start to buy into our own story that we're telling the world about who we are. So we think, oh, no, this is me. No, it's not. Part of the job is about tearing those those belief structures off, pulling them off and peeling them away until you get down to what is the real you you started with. And that requires going into those hard places, those dark places that scare us. And that's it for this week's Thursday Thoughts. Join us tomorrow for the Ascend Day on the Spirit Guides podcast. So that's it for today's episode of Spirit Guides Podcast. Head on over to iTunes, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you listen and subscribe to the show. Every week, one lucky listener who subscribes and posts a review on iTunes will be entered into a drawing for a $10,000 value grand prize and a private reading with Kelly Sparta herself. Be sure to head on over to spiritguidespodcast.com and pick up a free copy of Kelly's gift and join us on the next episode.